is with the Democrats. We're not going to be willing to work with him on the um, expansive liberal agenda he's been about. Look, there, there will be no compromise uh, on stopping runaway spending, deficits and debt. Where is there room for any compromise with Marxism? No, we will not compromise on our principles. Is it me or do they seem less open to working together than Obama does? Did any of them make the Democrats point for them? Or do they treat democratic ideas with disdain? Marxism, please. Given their intransigence and President Obama's malleability, it would appear that the democratic agenda is dead for the next two years. To help us figure out if that's actually true, we now bring in Congressman Dennis Kucinich, Democrat from Ohio. He was reelected to serve his eighth term in Congress. Congressman Kucinich, how do you fight back when it looks like the president is ready to reach out as he's been doing for the last few years? And is that is that a terrible idea? Well, you know, when I hear uh, some of my Republican friends talking about Marxism, uh, they, they have to be care careful of Harpo Marxism, because if they make the country look like a joke by not focusing on creating jobs and a middle class tax cut and making sure we protect Social Security and Medicare, uh, then they're going to have problems. I think that what we need to do is to find a way to work together and quit the disparagement that goes on. We have to make sure that we, we reach out to each other. The American people expect us to be able to create jobs. We have 15 million million Americans without any jobs. We have another six million Americans on top of the six million have also lost their home, already lost their homes, could lose their homes. We have to start focusing on lifting this country up and just the old partisan pot shots at each other doesn't work. We have to make sure we find ways to work together and, and frankly the American people expect that to happen. All right, Congressman Kucinich, I, I, I still don't know how you're going to do that. I, I believe my notes here say that you called Congressman John Boehner a pro and you thought he could work together with President Obama. You've now said something similar right. here. I, I mean, they, they're saying they're not going to budge one scintilla, right? So the only way you work with them, it appears, is that if you go to their side. Now, does that make sense as a progressive? Well, look, we're, they're not going to shut down the government. You'll see coming up a, uh, a stopgap spending measure that will carry us to the beginning of the year. Uh, they, there's going to be a tax cut. I think that the easiest thing to do is to make permanent tax cuts for the middle class, but the Republicans may fight and insist that the Bush tax cuts stay in place for another couple of years. I mean, these are things that they have to deal with because where are they going to get the money? They have to explain that. It's easy to find the money if you get out of Iraq and Afghanistan and uh, cut the bloated Pentagon budget and you stop the tax cuts from going to the top. You can find the money. Republicans have to work that out within their own caucus, but to, to dig in and say, well, we're not going to work together, I, the American people don't want to hear that. They they really want to find a way for all of us to, meet a, to reach a happy medium, and I think that uh, we're, going to, we're going to have to do that to get America back to where. How are you going to get the economy going otherwise? Because there's another game going on that's above the partisan uh, give and take, and that is how do we get the economy going? How do we make Wall Street finally respond and create the jobs that everybody says they'll create when they got $600 billion uh, from the Fed through to the banks uh, that uh, we'll see what happens? If, it, if they actually create money, uh, Congressman cre Kucinich, create, if they actually create jobs, I, I have to respectfully disagree because you know you said the American people don't uh, want this uh, bickering and partisanship, but that's what the Republicans did for two years and they won overwhelmingly. So maybe the American people does yeah. want it. And and you know you say uh, you got to create jobs. You think that, but my sense of how the Republicans are playing this is. Who cares if they don't create jobs? It's going to get blamed on Obama, and they're going to be able to run against them more effectively. That was their strategy for the last two years. Why wouldn't they just do it again? Because the people are out of work are Democrat and Republican alike. People are losing their homes are Democrat, they're Republican, they're independents. Look, we cannot try to drive this nation into one party rule. I mean, the voters have basically divided up the power. You have a Democratic president, you have a Democratic Senate, and a Republican House. We should not overemphasize the fact that the Republicans are in charge of the House. They, they won a large margin. I got that. But we still have a Senate and the president who have to work together to create a, uh, a, an agenda for the American people. In the end, 
Jank, what we have to be careful is we don't lose sight of why we're there. We're not there to score points on each other. We're there to serve the American people. And if we can't get this economy moving, if we can't create jobs, if we can't get the banks to loosen up so they loan money to small businesses so small businesses can survive, if we can't get uh, uh, find a way to keep people in their homes, then the government's a failure. Then our economic system's a failure. So I think that the, the, it's, the, it's, it's both parties who are on uh, who are on the griddle here. And frankly, if, if both parties fail to respond, you're going to see an opening in 2012 and 2016 for independent candidates who are going to be running for president. You've got to both parties have do to you, respond. Do you want the to Democrats name any names? and Republicans have to respond. No, because you know it's just a matter of fact. If both parties fail, then the American people are going to start looking elsewhere. So we have to work together. All right, Congressman. Uh, let me ask you one final question here. Um, you know, in terms of messaging, as we started this segment, we 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 said what we everybody knows, which is that Republicans are for lower taxes and uh, less spending, etc. That's what they say. Whether they deliver on that is a different question, but that's what they say. How about the Democrats? Don't you need a central message? And what is that central message? Very easy: jobs for all, health care for all, education for all, Social Security, uh, uh, retirement security. I mean, th these are things, and and peace peace get out of Iraq and Afghanistan, stop these adventures going all over the world, have the world community participate in world security. We cannot afford to be the policemen of the world. I mean, that's not a bad message, frankly, or the weak policemen of the world. It's not a bad message. When you look at the economics, when we start to uh, focus on bringing our country back to, back to prosperity, I think you're going to be surprised in the next Congress. We might gain some allies and some of the people who came in with the support of the, of the T-bag groups uh, on trade. I getting out of NAFTA and the WTO on starting to have a, a policy which strengthens our manufacturing base. We have to start taking care of our country first. I don't know why the Democrats didn't have that as their message last time around, but let me tell you, there's something about the, the dimensions of the loss that occurred uh, last week that should get our party leaders uh, finally to wake up and understand that it's all about the economy, it's all about getting people back to work, and the only way you're going to stabilize the economy is stop these expansions. Of, of war. All right. Thank you, Congressman Dennis Kucinich. We always appreciate your time. All right. Now.